Welcome back, everyone, to Summer Games Done Quick 2021 Online. Um, well, yeah, that was <laughs> that crab battle. Well, that, that fight crab run was really great. Um, so, yeah, we coming up next, we have another awesome game during the silly block. But beforehand, um, we have a couple donations coming through. We have a $250 donation from Kathy saying, Thank you all for the amazing runs. May we all be met by a wonderful fate. Thank you, thank you for that donation. We have another $250 donation from Azir saying, always love catching GDQ every year. Awesome run so far and can't wait for all the rest to come. Keep up the good work, everyone. And looks like we're good to go. Um, <laughs> coming up on here on the Silly Block is another game with an, another amazing ocean theme name. So here is I Am Fish Any Percent with Big Law. And take it away. Hey there, everyone. I'm Big Law, and I am joined by my good friend Bullets here. They were unable to get rid of me, so I am still here. Yeah, we tried getting him out, but he just stuck around, and, you know, I kind of like him. And also, I have Amaril in here. Hey, sorry. My <laughs> mic was muted for some strange reason. It is a it is a true and honest mystery. Uh, here we have I Am Fish. Uh, this is a sort of preview, sort of exclusive build that I have from Bossa Studios, and they said, hey... You can run this. So we will be running this. I'll be showing off all these fish we have on offer. We'll start off with the goldfish because, you know, it's a good place to start. So time will start in three, two, one, go. All right. So I am fish. If you have no idea what the scheme is about, well, the title is pretty self-explanatory. I am a fish and here goes a bit of lore dumping. So. I Am Fish is about this goldfish right here, trying to be reunited with his fishy friends, a piranha, a pufferfish, and a, uh, a flying fish. And they're all at the same pet store, but unfortunately the goldfish was just too boring to be bought, so he was left at the pet store all alone. He eventually escaped, but then was put in this attic, so we are trying to make our way to a sizable body of water to be reunited with our fishy friends. And I don't think it's ever actually explained why you're in the attic. You just kind of, they're like, this is where fish go in the attic yeah, by themselves is, in a ball. This is the fish. It's this like worse than finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least there's no like seven year old shaking the bull. It's just, yeah. you're well, in the attic. Like... I've... What, it's just a, yeah. how old are you, Big Law? What, me? Yeah. 23. Now there's a 23 year old shaking the bull. <laughs> wow! <laughs> They're all, all grown up. <laughs> Listen, I, I am no Darla, okay? I, I, I would never shoot the bowl. <laughs> Alright, so here we're gonna just yeet the fish over into this pool. Sick parkour. Nothing can go wrong. And dunked it. Alright. Excellent. Wrong, okay, wait, what happens yeah. if you miss? Like. Uh, well, you kind of just kind of get yoked out of the pool and you die, so... You hit the bottom uh, and you, you pop up and then unwater. Yeah, unwater. The reverse oh, no. of drowning. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, he's breathing! <laughs> uh, but anyways, we're uh, getting sent through this pipe now into the sewers. And the sewers not really a great place to put your fish. Uh, it's kind of full of garbage, so... We all do our best to avoid the trash, such as that needle. Don't do drugs, fish. Yeah, you don't want to become a glorious goldfish unicorn hybrid. It's pretty bad. Yeah, if you touch any of the trash, um, you start to just die, uh, similar to if you go out of the water for too long. So uh, we went at this checkpoint, though, which will save us if you were to be dying, but we're not, because Big Law is a great video gamer. Yeah. All right, so now we got a little bit of a transitionary period here, so... <laughs> what, Amy? What? I, it's, okay, so, like, I've never actually seen this game. Big Law is a, is a friend of mine who's like, hey, will you commentate my run for this unseen? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> I was, okay, I wasn't expecting this. Like, I've seen you do the trampoline thing before, but this is just, like, next level weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, going hey. through another pipe, so maybe... Uh... Actually, we got some stuff to talk about. So, uh, pop off this cap real quick and we're going to commit Grand Theft Bucket. 
Uh, this guy over here is kind of washing his car. With with no and, rag or uh, anything, just with his hand, his bare. <laughs> bare. Yeah, he's, just, he's just rubbing his car. In the vague uh, direction of it. He's waxing yeah, it, guy, I guess. Yeah. With his fingers? Yeah, so, um, uh, very important to note, we are now in an epic chase sequence because the man does not like us stealing his bucket. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're on a mad dash through this uh, through this field here. Uh, these rocks can kind of trip us up a little bit. Uh, in the original prototype back in 2019, these rocks meant death if you hit them. If you so looked at them the wrong way, you would die. Yeah, so they're a little bit more forgiving in this build, but we can just kind of force our way through these without too much of a problem. Wait, did you just, did you just like tip the bucket over or something? Yeah, they would just yeet you out of the bucket and you would be dead. Yeah, you would just flip so. immediately. Don't worry, that'll happen later, probably. <laughs> Poor shit. Uh, so we're making pretty good pace here. We're actually uh, gonna make it up just fine. So sayonara, sucker. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> Beautiful. And oh, we got caught by the bucket again. Well, that sucks. <laughs> All right, so now that we have finished that level, we're gonna check more. out the uh, yeah. We're, we're gonna check out the puffer fish. We're gonna look at the cutscene a little bit, looking longingly. Look at this bird. All right, so a little spoiler there. The puffer fish can uh, puff up surprisingly, but it's important to not fall up. Deep. Uh, <laughs> Let's uh, let's try that again. Gravity Wait, okay, dad. so there's so, a puff of, this really is just Finding Nemo. They're just doing <laughs> Finding Nemo. <laughs> no, we know where Nemo is. No, oh, oh, I didn't mean to fall off there. <laughs> I'm laughing too much. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop having okay. fun. This is no fun allowed. Yeah, no fun allowed. This is a serious block. Yeah, That's I'm right. Gonna, I'm gonna. No I'm jokes. Gonna, no jokes. I'm gonna, Freaking, I'm gonna climb wanna wanna huck a lug wanna huck a loogie real quick. <laughs> All right, P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. All right, we're uh, we're on our way out here, uh, climbing down the stairs. Listen, listen that sound design, just perfect little. Honestly, the sounds of this game are really that, good. Okay, that that is actually pretty good. Like like all the yeah. sounds, like when when the the fish Oops. sounds later are Whoa. really really good. That. Really right, good parkour. I'll be honest, I, I have not gone up this way before, so that's that was kind of surprising. I usually go down the other way on the stairs. Uh, <laughs> just inventing you a new know, route on the fly. Live routing, only at GDQ. So uh, we need to escape this room, so we're just going to just open this door real quick. Okay, so like this, this is a dumb question because it seems pretty obvious, but you know I'm dumb. So if <laughs> if you fall too far, like not onto a pillow or something, like the bowl breaks, it just shatters. Yes, it will break. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So we're now making a mad dash to that river, and uh, hopefully we can clear this pre precariously placed bar here. Uh, all right, now. So we're just gonna uh, turn into a ball. It's fine. Wait, hang on. You said it was bad. <laughs> but yeah, but if you turn into a ball, everything's fine. So <laughs> yeah, we can improvise. <laughs> <laughs> so so now we're just kind of swimming along um, and we just have to navigate the terrain there's not really much going on we can just kind of hop out and turn it into a ball so if you want to read like a couple donations that's fine perfect yeah we have a couple in here we have oh. uh, we have a $15 donation from monkey man saying hashtag tuna milk I want to fish you a happy birthday copious constitution <laughs> Thank you, Monkey Man. It's definitely my birthday. My eyes. Happy water. birthday! Oh, wow. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Big Long. Thank you. Thank you. The salt water is getting into my eye. I don't know why it's watering so much. Will you? Uh, we have time I... for one more. Yes. All right. We have a twenty-five dollar donation from Game Swag with two S's, saying hashtag Tuna Melt. Hey, magnificent Magna Carta! It's your buddy Game Swag here, wishing you a good run and a happy birthday. I appear to have misplaced several of my GDQ badges. Did you see them in room 104 by any chance? Uh, no, but I have a good couple of badges on right now. <clears throat> uh, anyways. Oh, I got fun on a rock. That's not good. My favorite sound in this entire game is the pufferfish smacking things really hard when it lands. 
Yeah, um, when the screen the screen starts to fade to black, that means you are dying. So dying is not optimal in a speed run. <laughs> I mean, as long as you really... don't die too much, you're fine. A little bit of yeah, dying like... is sometimes fast. Just not yeah, too much. Yeah, a little bit of dying is good for the song. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of like rolling, <laughs> rolling our way through here. You know, on the brink of death, but you know we're still chilling. So. So is like getting in the water like health recovery or whatever? Yeah, you just, yeah, you just it instantly. Resets, it, it resets the deathometer, so. Okay, got it. Cool. The, yeah, the deathometer. You just suck in some wine and you're good to go for a while. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this shallow water unfortunately does not count. Uh, I'm just going to go into this pond here for a little bit of a, a safety dip. Okay, like, I'm not a fish pro, but isn't puffer fish, like, puffing up actually legitimately very bad for them? I'm a fish uh, pro. Um, probably. I don't know. Okay, cool, <laughs> sure, you know what, whatever. <laughs> Not a pro in all fish, just like some. All right, so now this is the, the big eat right here. We're going for the going for the long haul right here. It literally sounds like a basketball being slapped against like wet concrete. This and is, this is NBA go. Street 4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to die there, but fortunately in my near lifeless corpse made it into the water, so we're all good. Yeah. Immediately fine. Beautifully done. And there we are. Done with the level. And you can still play around after we're done with level, but we are done with the pup fish and now we're moving on to what I think is one of my favorites, the piranha. Uh, the piranha has some banging tunes to go with it, so I better see some some sour please in the chat when you start hearing that jam go off. I, I made a mistake and turned up the audio on the stream I'm listening to oh, and that blew no. my ears out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the piranha, if you could not guess, it's sort of a little gimmick is that it likes to bite stuff. So we will be destroying this kitchen in an effort to get out. So. Yep. First, we're going to ruin the sink, and I'm just going to hop it onto the floor. Anything the color red. We'll be fine. Anything, oh, the, oh. Anything that's... Oh, that flooded quickly. Yes, and, it, and the water just keeps rising. It doesn't actually go anywhere. Yeah, did you know that in Britain they have airtight kitchens? Yes, the doors are, like, hermetically sealed and just, like, hydraulically, I guess, sealed as well. All the I mean, kinds it... of seals. It's an island. I guess they gotta be good at water control. I don't know anything about England. And you just make up deep lore for this game. Fish tire you. You got this. Yeah. All right. Dishwasher destroyed. So, all right. So now that we've flooded all that, gotta grab the most important thing: the sandwich. Oh, you're adding more water to fill the room more. Okay. Yeah, um, got it. All right. We actually we actually don't need the sandwich. All we need is this hammer. And you want to know why? To break out. <laughs> Even though you you hit it with the wrong end of the hammer, it's fine. It's fine. The hammer right, is just so to scare now, the window into breaking. Yeah, so we need to ensure that we don't get hit by a car while we're just traversing in this mason jar. Uh -huh. Racing in the mason, as it were. So we'll just kind of hug this side real quick. Racing in the mason sounds like a very obscure indie game. It does. Yeah, these cars, uh, they will crush you if you even look at them wrong, so they it's important to do not care. stay out of their way. They will crush you. All right, I'm going to pop the reload checkpoint there just to reset our position again. And the jar is actually kind of difficult to maneuver if you're not very well versed with it, so... With big loss of You champion. may see me... Yeah, I'm a champion. No I'm mistakes. the best in the world. No None mistakes whatsoever. None at all. This is gonna come back to bite me in the butt in approximately 20 seconds. Yeah, this seems you super think like long? complicated to uh, like, nah, do you have yeah. to like push on each side to like turn it? Yes. Yep. So to, to turn, you have to move all the way to the other side that you want to turn on. So like if something bad happens, you can't like immediately react. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, so you have to be very, very react or proactive in how you move your jar. I feel like We're this jar would have broken going, and or cracked by now. I'm not now. gonna say until you get across. This is going really well. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing could go wrong. 
This is perfect. Nothing whatsoever. All right, so uh, there's a... Look at that weird thing Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, ooh. There's a human. Pay no mind to the piranha in a jar. <laughs> yeah, I popped the checkpoint since I got caught on that, uh... Amy, what do, you think that gauge is? A... what do you think that gauge is? <laughs> I, I, I do want to say that people in chat are asking how you got in here. And the answer what? is, it was slightly ajar. Uh, anyway. Amy, that was your, that was your fault, that. 100%. Okay, I'll, I'll take yeah, that one. <laughs> so we have this seagull meter in the middle of our screen. Yeah, when it's fully red, the seagulls will start to attack you, and they will even just outright reject the laws of thermodynamics and just fly through buildings at you. Like as you saw right there, he just kind of he just kind of went into the building there. So the seagulls are truly omnipotent and are and are to be feared. Uh, do not miss the seagulls. It's, it's very rare that they hit you, though. It could never yeah, happen. Yeah, but when they do, it, it, it don't jinx it. It'll never, n none of them will hit you. It's fine. Look how badly they're doing. Yeah. It's oh, easy. All right. All right, nice. We got ourselves a nice angle here. Look at this line you're taking. Oh, Mark Rutsu would be so jealous right now. Is that a deep cut right. meme now? Oh. Old. Oh, Wait, who's Mark Rutzer? No, no. What? Mark Rutzer. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, <laughs> streets one. You got it. Never mind. You, oh, you spoiled Lord, it. Oh no. Anyways. Oh, the seagull. <laughs> See? Oh, I said weird. you're not gonna get hit. Yeah. You're fine. Close and en close encounters of the avian kind. Uh, all right, so we're not gonna ride this. This little thing right here. This is legitimately the best I've seen you do this. This is beautifully done. Yeah, this is a, I'd say a, a particularly perfect piranha. Oh man, that seems really bad if you land that way. Cause you gotta like turn the whole thing around. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, but anyways, we're almost done with the level. So all I have to do is go around this corner and fall in the river and we are golden. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I got to destroy some more stuff before I can go. Yeah. One more Wait, room, Wait, was that two. intended? Yes. Uh, <laughs> it is you can't do this to me, man. I'm not smart enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Break this other valve. And do another yeet. This room has a couple of the most dangerous jumps that you have to do during this section. Yeah, some of the jumps can be a little bit finicky. This one's not too bad, but the next two we have to do are are scary for different reasons. The yeah, toilet, so... the toilet can can be very mean to you if you look at it the wrong way. Yeah. So the toilet, uh, the the fear of falling in is actually very real, but fortunately I got it just fine. So. Yep. Gotta get that handle. Wait, does the toilet not Please. go out to the sea? No, it does not. Okay. I guess in Britain they have septic tanks or something. Maybe. Sometimes it's really difficult to get these vertical jumps. Sometimes the product doesn't want to jump. That's true. All right, there Beautiful. we go. First try every time. Yeah, for sure. We'll go back okay, and delete so it later. Now that... <laughs> Avert your eyes. Yeah, so... So now the uh, the hardest jump in the game right here. Get first try. Oh, oh, so oh. close. This jump is legitimately very difficult. Nice. Right, there we go. Beautiful. Thanks, we don't need to hammer this time. Yeah. So when you're biting you stuff off, grab... do you have to like, do you have to mash bite it or do you have to like wiggle back and forth? Uh, I, I wiggle a little bit and I find that that, that helps in removing the uh, Offending object. But there we go. We have flooded this hermetically sealed bathroom. And now we just need to uh, find an escape ride, so. Easy. Easy as that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Amy, you're going to have a, a great time with this last fish. <laughs> also, this, this loading screen is horrific. 
Yeah, it's kind of morbid. <laughs> All right. So now we are the the blue boy, the uh, the flying fish. And uh, if you cannot ascertain as to what this fish does, well, uh, place your bets in I'll, chat. I'll, yeah, I'll let you find it. Oh no! So it dies. Oh. That's what it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's the secret. I don't. It, it dies. I don't think that was intended. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> uh, you know, we don't want to be too far below yeah. estimate. Run's going a yeah, little too well. Yes. I gotta yeah. slow it down yeah. a bit. Bigel, yeah, I appreciate throwing you throwing, throwing, yeah, throwing for content. <laughs> throwing for content. <laughs> yeah, I, I, did, I did it for the vine. All right, so. Rest in peace, Get ourselves on box here. Yeah, rip in peace. No, 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 no. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so we're just going to ride the pipe here. And uh, it's gonna just going to shatter making. for no discernible reason. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whoa. Hello? All right. So the, the flying fish, it can uh, take flight. The Wright brothers are in shambles. Uh, <laughs> oh, let me back in the water, please. Thank you. So yeah, the flying fish can take flight and just go some pretty uh, decent distances. So yeah. You could kind of does, fly forever, but uh, I was gonna say, does it have thing. momentum based on, based on how you launch? Uh, yes, and also the uh, fish, like most other fish, needs to be in water or else it will uh, hecking die. So, it unfortunately, cannot fly forever. Yeah, needs to get whatever the equivalent of a scuba mask is for water. I guess a straw. I think just a really big straw. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are those um? Uh, uh, Camelbacks. True. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go put an email into the devs real quick. One second. My my one brain cell <laughs> hit the corner and I had a good thought. <laughs> nice. Uh, Speaking of um, devs, do we have time for uh, one donation? Uh, you can read a couple actually. I've got some time. All right. We have a $250 donation from Bossa Studio saying. Hi everyone, Bossa here. We have been overwhelmed by the positive feedback we got for the early builds of I Am Fish that we want to give some love back. Thanks to everyone at GDQ and to all the runners who make this possible. Looking forward to how you'll break the game, Big Law. You got this. Free all the fish. Cheers. Free the fish. All the fish, every single one of them. <laughs> you can get one more in. Sure. Um, we have a $10 donation from Fishologist Official saying, for those at home wondering, <laughs> puffing up is a last resort defense mechanism for puffer fish and it can hurt them. So please be kind and don't scare them. Fortunately, this is a video game and video game puffer fish can puff up as much as they like. Good luck on the rest of the run, Big Law. Thank you. Your, your prowess in fishology is much appreciated. Ahead of my time, man. I knew it. So is the flying parts like it, it? That looks pretty, like precise. Yeah. So the uh, uh, the fl the flying is actually a little bit more uh, difficult than it looks. And I'm gonna try and line myself up here for a bit of a little flight here. Beautiful. Nice. Right World in the bucket. Class. So we're gonna go for what I call the jump of death here because uh, initially I just didn't know how to make this jump, but I figured out the, uh, the swoosing method, so we just need to fly over to this blue tent here and make this next checkpoint. That, that seemed like a, that seemed unintended. Like, that seemed like a far, far farther flight than it was having you do. No, that is, that is the, uh, intended route as far as I'm aware. Oh so. my, oh man. You just gotta get good at the game. Yeah, I mean, they really just said get good. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, we're selling some fruit and veg at this market and some fruit and veg and some fruit and veg. They really need to sell some more stuff at this market. Like the, it's really saturated. Yeah. Same branding Ooh. and everything too. That was kind of spooky. Yeah, the one guy, the one guy like made a killing on all these signs. Like they thought I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm definitely gonna pick this game up. This room is sick. Yeah, I think I can make the uh, other tent off this momentum. That's a ballsy oh, no. move. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. 
Alright. Alright, so we are here at the market. Yelling to Mark. <laughs> 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 Nailed it. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to go for the the perfect the perfect thread the thread the needle uh, jump here. Oh my lord, please. <laughs> so this is I now like the jump of death. Yeah, this is now the jump of death. I was gonna uh, say what happens if you smack that dude in the back of the head, but I guess we found out. So this yeah, is a, so... a really tragic moment in the game. Where the yeah, emotional so heartstrings the, are pulled. Yeah, so the there's normally supposed to be some like really sad, depressing music playing here. Uh, as this fish is traumatized by the fact that he's just kind of flopping over all of his dead friends and family. <laughs> but I, oh wait, this <laughs> is intended. Like you're supposed to do this? Yes. yes. What the heck? <laughs> you are you are forced <laughs> to wiggle across the fish. I thought you just like hit the dude in the back of the head and we're like, all right, cool, I'll just keep going. Nah. No, I don't know how no, you don't like so die while you're doing that, but uh, you know. You're, I, I, the ice keeps you alive, I guess. So. Uh, and now the happy committing... music back again. <laughs> yeah, so happy. Uh, we're committing Grand Theft Bucket once more. And we are going to make our way over to the stairs where we shall hopefully yeet ourselves. Uh, it can be a little bit, a little bit troublesome riding the stairs in a bucket. Nothing's going to go wrong. Nothing is gonna go wrong. Buck, bullets stay here. Bullets, I trust It'll you. You perfect. wouldn't lie to me. Yeah, Staircases are lie. meant to be gone down. Like, like why wouldn't this work? Like this is easy. I trust you Just bullets. go down. Oh, <laughs> See, it's oh, easy. Perfect. <laughs> is, Perfection. Is there a limited amount of water <laughs> in the? Well, <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, uh, in practice. Uh, I think the bucket tipped over like five times in a row. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Repeatedly. The, the, the bucket, the bucket does not like to play nice. Uh, oh. you know, <laughs> is, the, is there a limited amount of water in it? Like if it all falls uh, out? No, actually. So if you get it stuck at just the right point, you can create infinite water and solve world thirst. But we don't really care about that. We need to save the fish. Yeah. So if I get this yeet. All right. Beautiful. So time is coming up fairly shortly here once I've fallen into the well and time nice look oh, it's in... dying <laughs> don't worry about that no no <laughs> <laughs> well uh, well this is, I, we are no it longer could fish be better. could be better <laughs> die less um why does it say well, that every time <laughs> we have zero know. deaths what are you talking about oh we just died but... <laughs> yeah it's it's fine so uh thank you uh everyone for watching the run uh thank you bullets thank you amy both of you here for uh commentating and enjoying this uh this this honestly tragic end to the run but, <laughs> uh, yeah uh, shout outs to bossa for providing the key and uh shout outs to fish yeah shout outs to fish this shout is really cool fish and yeah. especially like and I, thanks to gdq i think it's really cool when like beta games get to be shown off and like early release builds because like it definitely informs like you know, there's there's a lot of like tech to be found. There's a lot of things to be found in like, you know, smaller games like this. So I think mm -hmm. it's really cool that like, GDQ is accepting of stuff like this because, you know, it's it's, I like I like seeing indie games. I'm a big indie game guy. So. Ooh, indie yeah. games. Yeah. Thanks, Bolt. Uh, thanks, Piglet. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> it was an easy <laughs> run. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's what a great guy. But yeah. Thank you for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of Silly Block. GG's.
Have a good one. GG's Big Law. That game was something. <laughs> definitely got those Finding Nemo vibes from the visuals and the music. I'm definitely loving these the vibe of these like ocean sea animal themed games. So good. So very good. We uh, still had tons of love and donations uh, rolling through that entire run, which was great because each donation benefits Doctors Without Borders. Um, we have a $5 donation from Lady Kestrel saying, how it going, Major Decree? We are here. We are here, and we here are so excited to be here for I am Fish. Drive safe, friend. They sure did. <laughs> we have a fifty dollar donation from Acadil saying, "Happy birthday, Jumbo Ju Judiciary. Good luck as a fish." We have a fifty dollar donation from. H.C. Justin saying, Big Law rocks, GDQ rocks. We have a $25 donation from Annie Jess 3 saying, What do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. <laughs> Bless this mess that is silly block. We have a $25 donation from Kona Rican saying, Watching I Am Fish with all my cats. They are riveted to the screen. Truly a splash of entertaining gameplay. We have a $10 donation from El Sipa saying, Long time watcher, first time donor, just had to donate because this funny fish game had me laughing harder than any GDQ game so far. Had me laughing as well. Thank you for that donation. We have a $6 donation from 607 saying, I am fish looks really cool. Thanks for showing it off. We have a $25 donation from Maletso saying, Showed up too late to watch Majora's Mask and too early for jazz punk, but I arrived just in time to witness the greatest act of fish shenaniganary <laughs> ever seen. Plus, it's my birthday too. I feel a kinship with this run. Thanks for helping me laugh myself to sleep, y'all. I hope you sleep well. Thank you for the donation. We have a $15 donation from Kiro saying... I've had no clue what I've been watching since Untitled Goose Game, and I love it. And, uh, yeah, same here. I hope, uh, I hope everyone else has been loving it, too. <laughs> Alrighty, SGDQ 2021 Online will continue momentarily right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> 